welcome to the porch broadcast. Well, it's a little bit warm down here today, and I've had to rearrange my furniture just a little bit because the sunlight was coming in and, and you couldn't hardly see my face. So we did that. We'll see how that works out. But anyway, it's, it's time to do a devotional, inspirational type video. And so we've just been rolling around what we might talk about, and a thought came to my mind. And I want to share some things with you, share some real-time things that has to do with this particular subject. But let's start out with an old biblical scripture, and I'm not going to quote it, King James probably, but it just it's a golden rule. Everybody, I think, is familiar with it, and it's just simply treat other people like you'd like to be treated, or if you say it in King James, uh, do unto others as you'd have done unto you. So uh, a person may say, well, are you going to preach to us, Paul? No, no, we're just going to do a little bit of a inspirational talk with hopes that it'll benefit you. But, you know, I, I reflect back on biblical scripture quite often, and, and I don't give a lot of the biblical addresses and stuff. But the reason I reflect back on them, uh, an interesting thing after studying the Bible for somewhere around 40, maybe a little over 40 years, studying the scriptures as well as many, many other types of books and literature and things like that. You know, that thing is just chucked full of wisdom, just chucked full of things that will change your life and make you a better person. And after all, isn't that what we all would like to be as better versions of ourselves? So anyway, to get into the subject about treating people like you'd like to be treated, Imagine for a moment a world that when people got up in the morning, they weren't thinking about what they could get out of life, but what they could put back in life, what they could do for their neighbor, what they could do for their wife. Uh, sometimes it's just as simple as uh, when you get up sometimes, in my case, sometimes I'll just make the coffee and get my wife a cup of coffee. Now, she does that most of the time, and I appreciate her very much for that. But every once in a while, I just kind of want to give back and say, hey, just keep your seat. I'm going to make the coffee this morning and, and bring you a cup of coffee. Now, that may not sound like much, but it makes her day different. Plus, it shows some appreciation on my part toward her and the things that she does for us as a family. So it's not always the big things that you look for that make a big splash that are important in helping other people. And here's, here's something I want to touch on really quickly is this. If you're looking to make a big splash, ask yourself the question, are you actually doing what you're doing for somebody else or just so that people can see what you're doing? Virtue signaling as we want to call it these days. Now I'm not trying to be, uh, not trying to scold anybody or anything like that. If you've done something that's a big splash for the right reasons, that is wonderful. But at least ask yourself that question because if you're just looking for something that will draw everybody's attention to you, it, it really doesn't validate the heart intent in a healthy way, okay? Uh, so sometimes just get up and do the small thing. Sometime when your coworker is down, just walk over and just maybe lay your hand on the shoulder and, hey, how are you doing today? Or, you know, you really did a good job on that job you just wrapped up. Just some little something like that that will bring some. Nobody else going to know it, but it'll bring a little something into that other person's life and help them. Uh, look for the small things. You know, here's the thing about it, guys. You can find dozens of small things in life to do that will help people and change people. Now, I'm going to go ahead and shift gears to some of those more dramatic things that people do, and, and, and for the right reason. I've been watching social media mostly on the storms that we had in the southern part of the United States. And uh, social media, the good thing about what's going on there is they, a lot of times they're on the ground and they dig down into what's really going on there. More national news kind of takes a 30,000 foot view of things 
and and maybe that's the way they should do. I don't know. I don't know much about that business. But the social media guys, they get down there and they, they actually haul food and water and supplies into these folks and talk to them on a personal level. So you get a better understanding of what's going on down there. So here's the thing I would would like to say about that. I watch those things and I watch the, the people do the things and the people receive those supplies they needed and, and things like that. And I, I tell you, there were times I found myself about in tears over that. And, and the reason I say that is it done, it did something to my heart. I seen people helping other people for no other reason than they were just other people and you should help them doing it for the right reason. A lot of these people, they bought these, this food and stuff on their own. Uh, like in our case up here, one of our local churches actually asked people to bring supplies and they were sending the truck out there a few days ago. And so it's not like we're looking at government help or anything. It's more like just people helping people. A lot of people take money out of their own pocket and go buy food and things and went and helped these guys. And I, you know, I watched that thing, I guess for hours, off and on, you know, I didn't just sit in front of it for hours, but off and on, every chance I got to take a break, I sat down and watched those people helping the people down there. And I, it reminded me that, especially here in the United States, and I, I think it's probably the way in a lot of other parts of the world too, but I'm partial to the United States because I'm an American. But I seen people in my nation that made me proud. I seen people that made my heart feel like we there's hope for us. Now, a lot of times on newscast, we just see the bad and stupid things that people do, and a lot of people like to just cover that kind of stuff. I like I like you guys that get down there, and I will tell you, I appreciate you. Yeah, get down there and. Show the good things that people do. Show the goodness of people. I'll tell you, it made me have hope. It made me proud to be an American. I'll tell you something. That's worth something right there. Well, you know, I'm not going to just keep on and on and make a real long video this morning, but I just want to touch on that and, and maybe relay our feelings from here on the porch and, and other people that work with me and help me here. I just wanted to relay our appreciation and gratitude for what you guys are doing. Firemen, police, National Guard, helicopter pilots, airplane pilots, uh, and just the ordinary, everyday citizen loading up an old pickup and taking stuff down there to them people. God bless you guys. I'm thankful for you guys, and I, I am just so proud to see what you guys have done. Well, I, you know... <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I hope that in some way we touch people's hearts. But just do this. Just make it simple. Don't overcomplicate it. Treat people like you want to be treated. Do things to other people that you would like to have them do back to you. All right, guys. We here at the porch love you. May God bless and have a good day. Thank you.